If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement, male advantage ebook, or my personal workout and diet plan, all links are in the bio. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I, I took a couple days off, I turned 29 years old, I went to London for two days, just over the weekend. I went early on the Saturday and then I came back late on the Sunday, so it was like a proper full two, two days, that's how I like it. And uh, yeah, I had a really good time, relaxed my diet a lot, um, went out, had a bunch of meals, just a couple glasses of wine, whatever, it was really nice, just civilized, relaxed kind of like a cultured weekend, some nice walks, whatever. I got to see my dog and whatnot, so that's, it's just perfect. It's just like, took a day off yesterday as well. I was here, but I took a day off, so it's just refreshing. And there's a big reason why I do this every time, every time my birthday comes around as well, because my birthday is 28th of August. It's like a bank holiday in the UK. We get like three days off or whatever, right? Sometimes four. Um, I think it's always three. Um, but I do it on purpose because 1st of September is a massive, massive kind of like period of the year for me, okay? Now most people, most people kind of get their shit done on the 1st of January. You've got all these like New Year's resolutions, you've got all of these wannabe superstars that are great for like a month and then they fall away. I always think 1st of January is shit. I always think 1st of January is a waste of time, okay? Because... You go hard in the paint for the whole of January. You do it again for February. By March 1st, it's getting warm again, right? You know, it's, it depends where you live, but for most of the world, it starts to get warm again about March 1st, and you, or at least mid-March. And you start thinking, okay, well, I'm going to go out more. I want to socialize. I want to, you know, you start thinking about booking holidays and stuff. People seem to do it in the summer. Personally, I'd do it in the winter. I don't get the dynamic, but never mind. And... You know, rooftop bars start opening back up again, like late March. So, like, we've had March in the UK where it's hit like mid 90s, 100 degrees, which I think is like 30. I think it hit like 30, 35. We've had Marches that have done that, okay? So, to kind of like gear yourself up for this big, this new me, and then you've got all the distractions that come along with the weather. With like girls wearing less clothes, you know, all this shit. And there's more parties, rooftop bars are open, you know, you want to have more alcohol. Because when it's sunny, it's almost like a fucking virus. Everyone wants to drink, right? We, we've all been there. And I've never really understood it. So I've always had like a policy of September to March. Seven months of winter self-improvement. Now, I made a video on this last year, this time last year, okay? Talking about September to March and... It's funny because it's got 850 views in total in like a whole year. And it's quite funny to see because you think this video will probably get 850 views in like the first four or five hours, which is mental to see how far I've come, but I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I'm just trying to make a point there that this self-improvement winter shit, it really works. Because if if in the last year that video picked up like 850 views, whereas now each new video that I put out gets like 850 views in three hours to four hours well then surely I've done something within that time period within that one year period to make that happen and you guys know that the majority of my spring slash summer was dedicated to fitness I've often said to you guys it was a summer of fitness like I just I had to get my body in order and like I'd done my bulk in winter like that's seven months of winter that's the dirty work that's all the hard, behind-the-scenes, ugly shit that you don't want to do, nobody wants to see. You don't really post about it on social media. You know, I need to do a video on this soon, okay? I want to do a motivational video as, like, a joke. Um, based around, like, what real hard work really is. You know, like, everybody posts the workout video where they're, like, sweating and they're hitting, like, a tire with a hammer. But nobody posts, like, a motivational video of them eating a clean diet. Just... You know, just sat there eating, like, cabbage or something like that, or spinach, or, like, just boiling a chicken and being like, I grind every day. Like, nobody ever does that. But the funny thing is, that's, like, 99.9% .9 of the work. Okay, it's like, sat at this screen just researching. It's not fun. Well, it is for me. I kind of like that shit. But it's not fun for you guys to watch. 
it's not great viewing. I'm not going to post it to your fucking Instagram and it's going to get a million views, you know, but some guy with a nice Rolex on driving down the road in a nice suit and a Ferrari, yeah, a million views, right? But in order to get to that point, the 99.9% of the real shit gets left out because the majority of shit is, the, is boring. And that is what I love about September to March. Put it this way, right, guys? It's, I said this last year, okay? I will make this video every single year until people start realizing that September to March is the key. But sometimes even April if it's cold, which it was last year. But those seven months, they're cold. They're wet. They're windy. You know, if you live in Australia, it's different, okay? But, you know, you, you just switch it around. You, you get my point. But it's like it's cold, it's wet, it's windy. It's kind of boring. There's not a lot going on. If I wanted to go out, it would still be a chore. It's like I've got to get a taxi to the venue or an Uber. I've got to wear like a big coat. But then when I get in the club, I'm like, can I hang my coat up? I don't really want to be wearing it. It's just like it's fucking pain in the ass. I don't really want to go anywhere, okay? The only like good bit of fun is grabbing a woman and being like, let's jump on a plane and go on holiday. Which I'm planning to do this winter as well because things are better this year. But it's expensive, Okay, you don't want to be doing that every fucking week unless you've got a ton of cash, you know, and who's, when they're starting out their journey, who's got that kind of level of money to play around with? So it's like, and, and, until you can jump on a fucking boat and go on like a, an expensive warm beach holiday with a beautiful woman, it's like, what are you going to do in winter anyway? Realistically, probably just most people will stay and watch TV. Like in the UK, the Premier League's on, people watch matches, they stay in, they get a Netflix subscription... A couple beers at home, they have a Chinese, like as in a takeaway, they order that. And they'll watch the fucking X Factor or some shit, right? Or The Voice. Like, it's very simple shit. Like, people don't really go anywhere or do anything. In summer, it can be like summer holiday. You're dating like three different girls, okay? Like, periodically throughout like that week or whatnot and like on a, on a rolling schedule shit. You're going to parties, you're getting invited to like rooftop venues, you're going out to like the park, having a picnic, drinking a bunch of beers and stuff. Like it's fun. You go to a pool party. There's so much like cool shit that you can do in summer, okay? But in winter it's just kind of dead. So my theory is always that during those like seven months, you might as well just self-lock yourself down. You might as well just lock yourself down voluntarily. You might as well just say, okay, I want a ball for the summer. Like I want to shine in the summer. So what's these seven months, I might as well use them. I'm going to be inside anyway. It's going to be wet, cold, windy. It's going to snow. If I'm going to be inside, instead of just watching Netflix or watching porn and just fucking masturbating myself to oblivion, why don't I just use these seven months? Why don't I just use these seven months to make something happen? If you then wanted to go out, enjoy yourself, you know, party a little bit more, whatnot, yeah, you can find the time for that. You know, you can sacrifice like every other weekend or whatever. Like you can start, you, you can you can say, okay, I'm going to work in the week in the summer and then weekends are mine. You can do that. But those seven months where it's just going to be shit anyway outside, there's not a lot going on. Nobody's really up for anything. You know what it's like? You call your friends, you're like, hey, do you want to go out? Well, it's raining. Like there's obstacles, okay? In the summer, everyone's like, I'm already out. I'm on it. I'm in my I'm on my eighth beer. Do you want to come and meet me? Like it's it's easy to get things going, right? So with that being said, it's like, guys, I'm making this video one day before September the 1st for a reason. This year, I want to give you like a prior warning. I like doing things early, like 24 hours before you can kind of mentally prepare yourself. Don't leave it to January the 1st. Don't be like, because last year, guys said this, okay? I kind of like hyped people up. 850 people obviously have seen it. And people got like really excited at the time and were like, okay, yeah, this is great. This is motivating me. And then loads of people are like, this is what I'm going to get on January 1st. I've got these plans ready for January 1st. This hyped me up. Thanks, man. I was like, you're wasting it. You're wasting it. September, October, November, December. That's a four-month head start. If you start January 1st, I'm going to have a four-month head start on you. And then also I'm going to have momentum in January, February, going into March. Then I'm going to be in a great position for the summer. You know, whereas you might make like 10% progress and then for the summer, rewind on that and then you don't really go anywhere. Like, I've just had my birthday. We've just had a summer. I've enjoyed myself a little bit more. It's a summer of fitness. I've, you know, I've, I've done more than I normally would. I've spent a little bit more money than I normally would. It's a winter of work now. The men's lifestyle supplements are arriving in like the next, should be two weeks. I hope, anyway. If it's not, I'll be annoyed. But it should be like the next two, three weeks maximum. Then it'll be the creatine. Then it'll be the natural diuretic supplement. Then it'll probably be the protein. 
Then it will be the men's boxers, the extra length ones. They're, they're so needed. I had a conversation with people this weekend who were like, if your guy goes to the gym who has a slim waist, there's no way to find like slim boxes, like muscle fit boxes that fit tight around the waist and then tight around the legs, but they're long enough to compensate for the extra size that you have around your legs because you've got big legs. So they're, they're like massively needed. The shirts I spoke about a year ago with like the high strong collar, so you don't have to wear them with a tie. That's going to be coming, a physical copy of the book. All this shit is going to be executed on, okay? That's just going to be, like, and I'll probably go through maintenance for three months with my body, and then I'll bulk for three months, and then I'll cut for three months. I don't want to get, now that I'm actually lean, I don't want to go through, like, a giant bulk and get fat and puffy again. I feel like trying to sell a natural diuretic whilst being puffy, and I don't want to go backwards and then be, like, depressed and... Yeah, yeah, I'll figure it all out in the end, but it just feels like a bit shit, okay? So I'll probably go up to like 16% body fat, no further. Like I'm not doing 25, 28% like I did last year. That was just first bulk, I had to get massive, okay? It looks grotesque too. It takes, you end up cutting for like seven, eight months, you lose all that willpower and energy. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much the journey. That's going to be pretty much everything bundled in together. And that like seven months, it's just going to be locked down. Just focusing on... Obviously, like, you can eat a little bit more. I'm in maintenance. I might be in my bulk. I can just really, like, knuckle down and just focus on that and just, you know, enjoy that a little bit and hit my PBs and just be like, I'm not going out. I might as well get an early night. Get in the gym for 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Like, you can do that. It's not like you've got a party and then you have to say, hmm, I'm going to drink alcohol. I better drop my calories down a little bit. Like, you don't have to... You're not really thinking of that shit because you're not going to do a lot of that in winter. And then, like I said, I can just sit in front of this screen and just work and just ship supplements out and... Just do what I need to do. Just do the necessary sacrifices, the necessary shit, because I won't have... There's no level of FOMO. I'm not missing out on anything. What am I missing out on? You know, if I really get down and whatever, I'll just book a holiday. I'll just take a girl away or abroad, whatever. I've, like, already planned to do this um, at some point this year in winter as well. I might do it a couple of times just to enjoy myself because we didn't really have a summer in the UK. But for you guys who are just starting out like I did last year, look at the progress I've made in a year. Now in summer, yeah, I was cutting, etc. I, I kind of like put the final touches on things and whatever. And I like things came together like Sol, the coin Sol, the crypto coin. It's gone up to like 84, 86 pounds today. It's like $100. I predicted it would be $100 like eight months ago, nine months ago. But all that hard work, the research to look at Sol, the research to look into crypto, that was all done in winter. It was a Saturday morning. I had nothing to do. I was researching crypto. I was like, that's a good coin. I'm going to get into that. It pays off, okay? The gym work that I did, like the majority of it was those seven months where I bulked and I put on all that muscle. The shred is like, yeah, it's really tough. But you're getting, you're looking sexier like every single month. So it's almost like a positive. Whereas when you're lifting heavy weights and getting fatter and you're like, no women want me. I've got a puffy water buffalo face. <clears throat> like it's not nice, but it's that lockdown. Like you're away from everybody. You're isolated. It's like your time. And like the time that I spent working on those supplements and like figuring out pricing and whatever. I did all that in winter. And then in summer, obviously, we had like a bunch of issues with, um, obviously, I sold them all. A bunch of issues like trying to figure out the next supplier, getting rid of the American supplier, the UK supplier. Well, it's all figured out now. But like, and it's going to be executed again on in September. But what I'm saying is the majority of the work was done in winter. Like that was when I was like, that's when I was like paying all the bills for them. That's when I was like trying to source all the companies, like who's going to do this. That's when I was trying to like look at which ingredients would be best and like testing dis different formulas out. And that was just from spending time on my own, just sat there researching hour after hour after hour. And like I said to you guys, this summer was a summer of fitness. The winter was hard work, right? I would probably, in summer, I'd say I probably did like eight hour days, I probably worked like eight hours a day and I probably went to the gym and cooked and worried about my diet and all the fitness stuff and stretched and shit like that and got an early night so I sacked off work a little bit earlier, I woke up a little bit later so I could get that sleep, you know I probably did like fitness related stuff for like five hours of the day, whereas in winter I remember I was working like 16 hours a day because it got dark quick and I was like well what can like what should I do, there's nothing to do, I might as well just sit at the desk and work. There was literally no point, and that's what I did for those seven months, and it paid off. And that seven-month bracket will change your life, guys, okay? There's so much shit you can do. You can come out the other side being a different human being completely. I've proven that with my before and after pictures. 
Like I was putting all that, well, I was sat at this desk just chewing gum and stuff like that and just researching fitness videos, researching cryptos, working on the business, packaging supplements till like 12 at night. And then getting up the next day, lifting heavy weights, eating as much food as possible, mass gainers, bulking up, just looking grotesque. And people would have been like, oh, his life's going nowhere. When it all unfolds in those summer months, when you put it all together, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but I'm just saying that's when you do things more for you. That's like aesthetics. That's like enjoyment, going on holiday, partying, whatever. Like when all that the sort of shit came together, people were like, oh, wow, this guy's got a really good life. Like, oh, Chris is really improving. But what people didn't see is behind closed doors. You know, those like first four fitness journey videos I did where I was just training in this garage. The shit facilities. It was cold in here. Like it was, I literally just moved straight into it and was like, right, let's set shit up. I dropped like £2,000 on equipment and the mats and like everything else and the lighting. It was just, this is like a lab. This is just like a grinder's lab. But th- this time I'll probably drop like £1,000 on like insulation, heating. I'll get something to like put some plasterboard up, paint it all, look, make it look luxurious. But those last seven months, that was just my fucking nose to the grindstone. I worked my balls off. I was tired and I just went for it. I'm not going to do, I don't need to, but I'm going to do the same this year. Like those of, those people who really know me, who watched the videos in like a, like a year ago or long before, I've always said, it's going to have to be like a year ago, just like six months prior to that. I always said that this, that winter coming up, I was like, I don't care about it. The next summer coming up, I don't care about it. So the summer that's just gone, basically the whole year that's just gone since I turned 28, obviously I'm 29 now. I was like, I just don't care. It's, I was like, this is just, it's just a putting things together year. It didn't bother me. I knew I was just going to be working, getting in the gym, putting things in place. But now I'm like, okay, shit, I've got a really good foundation thanks to the work I did. And it was this winter. I remember saying it will be March, okay? March next year, which is the March that's coming up next. I was like, that is my target. Because the supplements, the clothing, everything that I'm going to have... Soul like popped off early. I actually cashed out a little bit early on Soul, but like still it's a shit ton of money because I got in at nine pound. It's like 86. I cashed out at like early 60s. It's still a huge amount of money, okay? Like I don't, I, I don't get greedy with it. I buy low, I cash in early. It's a Rothschild strategy. And then I move on. My next picks, I think, not financial advice, is going to be SNX, I think is the next one to blow, which is synthetics. I think XRP, I think... As long as you got those two, you're going to be sitting pretty, okay? So anybody who's interested in my next one, that's going to be it. Um, but that's what I was just hell-bent on like a year and a half's time. I was like, it'll be March next year. And that's how you should strategize to do things, guys. That's how you should target things. Too many people are like, I want to get from January 1st, I want to get in shape for like my holiday, which is in May. I'm going on holiday on May the 20th. I need to get in shape. And it's like... It's too late. So you, you, you haven't given yourself enough time. You're not going to be able to bulk and cut and condition and look good. Whereas I was like, okay, it's September 1st. I'm going to grind for seven months. I'm going to get bulked as fuck. I'm going to put all the hard work in. I'm then going to enjoy a little bit of that. I'm going to get in shredded shape and get down to like 10% body fat by like September 30th. I keep saying 31st. I forgot it's not a real date, right? Some people called me out on that. Um, but like September 30th, I'm going to get in the best possible shape I can. Um, cause that would be like the end of my cut. That's what I kind of aim for. It just added up. There's not enough months in the year f- to do it perfectly in my opinion. Um, and then I was like, okay, all the way through to like March, I'm just going to, it's going to be all about money. Just getting that money up all about the supplement company, like building these sustainable businesses. And then by like March 1st, I'm going to be like 16% body fat. 95 kilograms, 100 kilograms, something around about that mark. I'm going to still be like pretty lean in the face and whatever, looking good. I'm going to have all the money that I want. I'm going to have a supplement company built, the clothing company's underway, the skincare company's underway, the books are selling like crazy, you know, multiple streams of income. My dad's house has been settled. I'm going to have like all that money coming in and whatever. It's like all these boxes have been ticked and then it's just fresh minds to move forward. And I was planning that like ages in advance. Obviously not my dad's house. I'm not a fucking psychopath. You know, obviously I wanted him to to be here forever, right? But all the other shit, I like kind of planned that and I was like, it's going to take like that long. I'm going to have to do a full loop of the calendar and then another half. So it's like a year and a half. That's what I had my sights set on. I was like, fuck this summer. I'm not... 
I'm not in a position that I want to be in this summer. Next summer's the one. And I'll be coming up 30 years old. Perfect. Let's hit the ground running. Go into the male advantage like a beast. Perfect body that I wanted. All the money that I wanted. And let's execute on the streaming platform when it comes back round for like September 1st. And let's then make that the main focus. It's the kind of mindset you need to have. And it starts on September 1st. It's cold. It's wet. It's windy. Nobody wants to do anything. You know, everybody's putting on that winter weight. Women don't look as good. They're not wearing like the short dresses, the summer dresses and shit. Just stay in. Just stay in. Just save your money. Just work on your business. Work on your idea. Research crypto like a psychopath like I did. I was doing like four hours of crypto research per day and it's paid off. You know, I've used a lot of that money to pay for like supplements and stuff. It's, it's almost like free money to, to, do, to use the supplements. It's, that's, that's all it's going to take, guys, okay? Like, if you don't want to be a beast 12, years, like 12 months round, just do the seven. Just do the seven or eight in winter when it's cold. I, I, honestly, apart from, like, firework night, New Year's Eve, stuff like that, if you want to go out and, like, celebrate a little bit, yeah, fair enough. If your birthday's in those months, yeah, fair enough. The rest of the time, it's like, why would you want to go out? I don't want to get wet. I don't want to be cold. I don't want to have to go out with a massive coat on and carry it around. It just doesn't really interest me. And the amount of money you waste as well, you could invest all that, and then by the time it comes around to summer, like, it's easy pickings, you know? You're in a much better scenario. But it is, it's self-improvement September. It's seven months now, and it starts tomorrow, guys. Okay, so for anybody saying, oh, this time next year, like, it starts today, because that's what I did. And my life is 10 times better today than it was last year. I'm going to do the fucking same thing again. I'm going to rinse and repeat my year. I might even work harder because I'm more motivated now that things are going well. I've got momentum. It just makes you happier when you have momentum. It's not like you're pushing against something. It's moving with you. I mean, you know, it's easy. It's like a boulder rolling down a hill compared to pushing up the hill. So I'm going to do the same thing again. If you guys want to join me, that's what I'm going to do. Just seven months like a lunatic. I always do stuff and then I prove it to you guys. I say, look, I'm going to get in shape and then I go and do it. I say, I'm going to get a lean face, then I do it. I say, I'm going to start a supplement company, then I do it. You watch. March, end of March. Is it March 31st? Could be 30th, I don't know. I'm not good with this calendar shit. By that day, I will be sat there, a completely different human being again. It will be completely different. I'll be unrecognizable, okay? It will be a completely different situation financially, physically, mentally, everything. It'll be completely different because it'll be seven months of just hard work. I might even learn a language in that time as well. Like, that's the kind of shit you can do. I'm going to aim to read, like, one book a week as well. I'm going to get back to that sort of shit. But relevant books, not just random shit to say, oh, I've read this many books. I'm not Ty Lopez. It'll be, like, the Netflix book so that I can understand how streaming platforms evolve and work. Oh, will there be problems that I bump into along the way? Shit like that, okay? That's what you need to do. I'm going to learn a language, like I said. I'm going to... But that's what it's going to take, okay, guys? That's what it's going to take. I'm going to research the men's lifestyle industry. I'm going to try and find new things that I can tweak for myself. I'm going to bridge out my content. I'm going to start doing more like gym vlogs, travel vlogs, all this shit. Like, I'm going to make a video on this in a minute. I'm going to... I've got to explain a few things to you guys, what's coming over the next year. But it's the seven... It's those seven months in winter. There's nothing to fucking do anyway. You might as well improve your life. If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement, male advantage ebook, or my personal workout and diet plan, all links are in the bio.